It's logical that the urban spaces we spend time in affect our well-being, but do we really understand how they influence us? I'd like to share with you the results of a study assessing the well-being benefits derived from urban spaces. It's part of a larger SEI city health and well-being initiative focused on secondary cities in the global south. Sustainable development will depend on how our cities adapt to deal with challenges like population growth, economic development, and climate change, to name a few. Publicly accessible space plays a large role in whether our cities are livable. We know that even urban nature can improve well-being. However, most of this evidence is from the global north. A better understanding of the factors creating well-being in the global south settings is needed to ensure urban space provides multiple societal benefits, especially in the face of pressure to densify. In this study, we focus on two secondary cities as case studies, Udon Thani, Thailand, and Nakuru, Kenya. We used participatory mapping to better understand which and how space was being used and why. We analyzed the data using the cultural ecosystem services concept to understand the connections between space, activities, and well-being. Cultural ecosystem services refer to the non-material benefits that people obtain from nature. Our results show that both the built and natural environment are important for well-being in both cities, but in different ways. We also explored the pathways between cultural activities and well-being by connecting two existing frameworks. Together with our participatory mapping data, these frameworks can be used to guide urban planning to better support personal well-being. Our key takeaways relate to the roles of different types of spaces in the urban environment, their distribution across urban space, and what that means for spatial justice and resilience in the Global South context. This Wordle graphic highlights the key issues and hopefully encourages you to check out our Climate Expo poster for more details on the key insights, our recommendations for urban planning, as well as links to our project. Thank you. If you have any further questions, please be in touch.